We are cornfields. And car shows. We are historic. And honorable. We are native. And navigate. We are the Spuds. The Lincoln Zephyrs. And the Tigers. We are state champions. And, and national, national finalists. finalists. We are academics. And athletes. We are red. And white. We are original Oklahomans. We are Fort Gibson. And we're destiny started. Welcome to Tiger Nation. Let's go! We are cornfields. And car shows. We are historic. And honorable. We are native. And navigate. We are the Spuds. The Lincoln Zephyrs. And the Tigers. We are state champions. And, and national, national finalists. finalists. We are academics. And athletes. We are red. And white. We are original Oklahomans. We are Fort Gibson. And we're destiny started. Welcome to Tiger Nation. Let's go! This broadcast is brought to you by Local Bank. Trucks for you. American Legion Frank Glad Post Number 20. Armstrong Bank. Bravado Wireless, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Somax School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Drive-In, Tiger's Den, Burrow Post Frame Supply, Dr. Coy and Dr. Kimberly Durosset, G&H Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Michelle Mackey at Chinoweth and Cohen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks Four Miles Stop, and Sticks Fort Quick Stop. bigger than bloodlines, stronger than DNA. It's the circle we draw around the people that matter, the people we care about and care for, the folks who inspire us, guide us, root for us. Family means finding common ground, rolling up our sleeves, and making our way side by side. Armstrong Bank. Strength runs in our family. There's really only one explanation for businesses who continue to thrive for decades on end, and that's a people-first mentality. Bravado employees live within our existing coverage area just like you. Our kids go to the same schools and play in the same leagues as yours. That's why so much of who we are consists of giving back to our communities. 
because your community is also our community. We are your family, your neighbors, and your leader in wireless coverage. Make the bold move and switch today. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home at the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. What happens when you bank local? Our businesses grow. Our schools get more funding. Our first responders get more support. Our families flourish. to Local Bank, a bank that answers when you call. Max Drive-In is Fort Gibson's oldest restaurant, celebrating 60 years this year. The best hamburgers, grilled chicken salads, and homemade ranch. And don't forget the dip cones. Max Drive-In is a proud supporter of Fort Gibson Schools. This broadcast is brought to you in part by Jeff Walker, your hometown Edward Jones financial advisor. See Jeff and let him help you reach your financial goals. Located at 1205 South Lee Street in Fort Gibson. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes located on South York Street in Muskogee. A prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! The team at New Direction Dental has a passion for giving you a brighter and healthier smile. We use the latest and most up-to-date technology paired with outstanding patient care. Dr. Rouse enjoys creating the perfect individual smile for each patient using dental implants, Invisalign, and veneers to name a few. We're not just about beautiful smiles. New Direction Sleep Care also helps diagnose and treat sleep disorders. We know getting a good night's sleep leads to a healthier and productive lifestyle. Whether your sleep cycle or your smile needs a new direction, contact us today. We would love to help you. Dr. Brant Rouse and Associates, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. Zomat School of Music is Eastern Oklahoma's largest music school and music store. 
Zomek has a huge selection of instruments, including top brands like Pearl Drums, PRS guitars, and saxophones, pianos, trumpets, violins, and much more. We also rent and sell school band instruments. Zomac has 19 professional music teachers and 400 students per week. We offer lessons on over 20 instruments. We're open Monday through Saturday. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Zomac School of Music. The Tiger's Den is located in downtown Fort Gibson. They have t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, hoodies, hats, and all kinds of tiger gear in sizes from Chun South Lee. The Tiger's Den is located in downtown Fort Gibson. Gibson Lady Tiger basketball action at the Harrison Fieldhouse. They'll be taking on the Ada Coug Lady Cougars. For a Saturday matinee contest. Let's get ready to rumble! The Lady Stanley taking the tip off here. Hey, it's going to be interesting to see how the Tigers bounce back after last night playing a tough game and mm -hmm. how they're going to play tonight or today. You know, and that's something you, you'd like to see, you know, building towards the playoffs. Sometimes things don't always go as planned and you got to recover. So he's just going to start out in a 2-3 zone. Lee Peters from the corner. Her shot's up and good. Oh, started real well. A lot of passing there. Good cut by Laney and good pass. Good shot by Leah Peters. Looks like we're going to have a press here by the Tigers. Hey, the Lady Cougars get a look from the corner. That shot's up. Bounces around a few times and it's good. Got a shooter's roll right there. That's Abby Strong. 30. 
35. 35? Another shot by Leah Peters. Another three for one. She's off to a good start. Yeah. Two for two. Pressure forces turn over there. Calling for Laney to post up down low. Driving kick from Wiley to Wofford. Nothing going just yet. Tiger, Leah Peters, another open three look this time. No good, but a good look. They pull down the offensive rebound. Laney's done a good job getting the ball and finding the open three. Nothing going on that possession. Lay Tigers get a trap over here. He's going to have to yep, get a travel. Traveling violation for Dixon basketball. Whitely D3. Off the front of the rim, no good. She'll keep the pressure on, though. Lay Tiger force, you know, another trap right there. Definitely see the game plan for the Tigers going to come in and be super aggressive off the start. Long rebound. Rebounded by Ada. Good defense so far. This possession out of the Lady Tigers really ramping up the pressure in the half court. Hook shot attempt, no good. Rebound, Cache Brown. Whitely looking to get in transition. She gets into the paint. And we're going to have a jump ball called. Jump ball to Ada. Nice job there by the Lady Two Lewis seniors come in, Jason Christie and uh, Peyton Sykes. The last couple home games we've been to, the, these two girls have rolled in and made an immediate impact shooting the basketball. So. You have definite three-point threats. Southern in. Three-point. Shot from Ada, rebounded by Whiteley. Every time she gets the rebound, yeah. look for her to push. That's her second or third rebound of the game, so she did a good job reading the basketball off the rim. Christy with a deep three. That one's looked good, just a little too strong. Uh, the game started hot, it's kind of slowed down a little bit as we're going. So. 3.10 to Ada. That was. Good. Ryan going to answer 6-6. It worked the ball inside the stand and he kicks it to Christie. Corner three. Sykes with the rebound. Whiteley with the three-point attempt. It's off the iron, no good. We're getting good looks. They'll, they'll start falling soon. But definitely getting the looks we're wanting. Good passing there from the Lady Cougars. Ends up with two. Worked the ball in Stanley. Oh. 
be a foul there on either. Jameson Marthley, their first team foul number one. Number 25, Cache Brown, back in the early times. Number 11, Carson Woods. Number 31, Ava Kempos. First foul of the game so far. Been a clean game. Tiger free set here offensively. Hey, Cougars with another rebound. Using the glass right after the game. Coach, you think with us getting a little cold on the shots over here, do you think we start having it, uh, Addie Whiteley start pushing the basketball, try to get to the foul line? Or? I think so too. Just kind of settle things down and drive. And you can always dump it off to Cache Brown or Lenny Stanley and try to get some easy ones in. Mid range jumper Cache Brown off the back iron. She tips it back to Whiteley, who's already in the paint. She'll rise up. Cache Brown, another offensive rebound. She's got Three Lady Cougars surrounding her. And we're going to have a foul. Carson Woods is the foul. Really close there to get another jump ball call. Get the Wiley on the inbounds. All right, going to get to go. Lee Peters back in the game, gets the waffle. Ball bouncing around, maybe Cougars come down with it. No, they back to work on offense. Good block by Randy Stanley. Goes right, unfortunately, right back in the hands of the Cougars. Wow, for another open three look, just kind of looks good from the get go. Looks real good. Good rebound by Addie White. Good job, Laney. For the back end. Laney Stanley. Up along passes from the Lady Cougars. It's what you want to try and force. Yeah, we're having another travel here by Ada. Violation for Gibson basketball. Ada's handling the press well, but the, the commotion does cause some travels, yep. turnovers. Speeds you up, gets you out of your rhythm, and you know your comfortable tempo. And all it takes is some turnovers yeah. in other ways. Yep. And all it takes is a steal or two. Okay. And okay. Looks like we're gonna try and get a last second shot. Goes reset here with 10 seconds left. So only last second shot attempt. No good. And that'll be it for the first quarter. Foot gets and trails by four. And we'll be right back. We are cornfields and car shows. We are historic and honorable. We are native and navigate. We are the Spuds, the Lincoln Zephyrs, and the Tigers. We are state champions and, and national, national finalists. finalists. We are academics and athletes. We are red and white. We are original Oklahomans. We are Fort Gibson. And we're destiny started. Welcome to Tiger Nation. Let's go!
This broadcast is brought to you by Local Bank, Trucks for You, American Legion, Frank Glad, Post Number 20, Armstrong Bank, Bravado Wireless, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Ford Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Somax School of Music. Back off the three, down, picks it down to Stanley. Two more points for Stanley from the Lady Tigers. Stanley corner three. And it's good. Laney's got seven. She's kind of started a little hard. Good, looking good here. And she's got two you know, short ones. We've got the third long one. There we go. Seven points. With that, Four Gibson's going to take the lead. Stanley, another open three, and it's good. That's eight points in less than a minute. Ball back again. And an eight point swing right here. See if we can add to it. Yeah, Stanley on the elbow. She'll shoot a free throw line jumper. Got another trap. Goes back to that press. Speed up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Pass. Good pass, good finish there. Tigers yeah, on a run to start the second. Yeah. Aiden's going to take a timeout. Got a 10-0 run for the Tigers. Tigers. It's going to be a 30-second we'll timeout. Give a quick shout-out to our sponsors. Local Bank, Trucks for You, American Legion, Frank Lab, Post Number 20, Armstrong Bank, Bravado Wireless, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Ford Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply, and Pro Electric, Tiger Nomad Bank School of Music, Jeff Walker and Edward Jones. Max Trident, Tiger Student, Earl Hayes, Frank Spot, Boy, Dr. Henry Ross, GNH Outdoor Services, Dream Country Lanes, and Muskogee State Center, Michelle Mack, Mitch Nolte, Tower, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Six Four Mile Stop, and Stork Sticks Fort Quick Stop. Appreciate you guys supporting Tiger Vision Fort Gibson Athletics. Live Sport Gibson Fort Gibson Schools in general. Jeff Walker, your hometown Henry Jones financial advisor. See Jeff and let him help reach your financial goals. Located at 1205 South Lee Street in Fort Gibson. Thanks again to our game night sponsor, Jeff Walker. And Tiger Bay Car Wash. I don't thought they had another travel right there. There, knocks that one out of bounds. Quick shot. Oh, we'll get to go. Wiley gets it. She'll go in transition. Stanley sizes up. Drives kicks to Waffle. Stanley, another three opportunity. A little in and out. Like a fast food restaurant. You know that one ready to go. <laughs> it's my go-to. Tiger's defense forced another errant pass. They'll take back over. Stanley gets another open three look. Front iron, no good. Three, two, two. 
Long pass. Drive from the Lady Cougars. It's up and good. Sadie Epps. You gotta get your spot quick. Long pass, not able to connect. Long pass turns into a layup for Gracie Lady Dotson. For Lady Cougars. It's Gracie Dotson. Took the score back down to two. Still there from the Cougars. Should be getting close to five second violation. Knock on the baseline there. Be Stanley's first, I believe. Pass number 12, Lady Stanley. That's her first. Team foul number one on the Lady Tigers. Checking in before Gibson, number five, Brindley Moore. That's number five, Brindley Moore checking in. Freshman forward. Rebound Dotson, back up, and Brown pulls it down. Leah Peters, deep three. Long pass, good decision there. Wofford just let that one go out of bounds. Four minutes remain in the half. Number 11, Carson Woods, number 31, Ava Campos, and number 25, Abby Strong. In for your lady attackers, number four, Sage Benson. Sage Benson checking in, freshman guard. Baseline inbound here for Lady Cougars. Hand off. Let's see the paint. Rebound Whiteley. It's her fifth or sixth rebound tonight. Sizes up, gets the walker in the corner. She'll take a three-point attempt. Rebound Lady Cougars. Three-point attempt Lady Cougars. Bounces around high. There's a good block out there by number five, Brendan Moore. That's number 31, Ava Campos. That's her first personal, first team foul on the Lady Cougars. Back in for Fort Gibson. Jason Christie coming Christy. in and Peyton Sykes. At number 14, Peyton Sykes. Try and pick up their tempo a little bit. They're going to their press. They're going to get a steal. Getting to the paint. Layups off the glass. No good. Offensive rebound, though. Ball's bouncing around. Sykes comes up with it. Tigers out in transition. Pass back to Sykes. Still bounce now, it's gonna be eight of ball. Back in for your late Tigers number 12, Lady Stanley. And number one, Ali Peters. Ali Peters and Lady Stanley checking in here. Hey, 
Just under two minutes left to go here in the half. Scores 18-16, Lady Tigers with the lead. Good job, Ollie Peters for some baseline. And they step out of bounds to it. Fast interceptor there, number 10. That's Nelson. Senior guard. She gets it down in the paint, off the glass. Whitey's going to beat the press by herself. She gets into the paint, right hand off the glass, up and good. Great move. Great move. Great move. That's what you need for the Tigers. Get the ball into Addie Whitey's hands and let her go. Nice steal there. Peters up, off the glass and good. Uh, got a four point streak right here. Need to close out the half strong. Ada works the ball quickly at the court. Couple quick passes knocked away by Stanley. Ball still in play. 30 seconds here. Looks like the Tigers gonna slow it down. Coach Lowe's telling him to slow it down. He's going to have a play called, I imagine. Get a three point look for Leah Peters. It's up. Off the iron, no good. Rebound, Lady Cougars, and they're on the break. Nice hesitation there. Two points, Lady Cougars finish up the half. We'll take this one in the halftime. Your Fort Gibson Lady Anything Tigers saying, lead 22 to 20. 20. Scoring in the first half of play for the visiting Lady Cougars. We are cornfields and car shows. We are historic and honorable. We are native and navigate. We are the Spuds, the Lincoln Zephyrs, and the Tigers. We are state champions and, and national, national finalists. finalists. We are academics and athletes. We are red and white. We are original Oklahomans. We are Fort Gibson. And we're destiny started. Welcome to Tiger Nation. This broadcast is brought to you by Local Bank, Trucks for You, American Legion, Frank Glad, Post Number 20, Armstrong Bank, Bravado Wireless, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Somax School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Drive-In, Tiger's Den, Burrow Post Frame Supply, Dr. Coy and Dr. Kimberly Durosset, G&H Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Michelle Mackey at Chinoweth and Cohen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks Four Miles Stop, and Sticks Fort Quick Stop. bigger than bloodlines, stronger than DNA. It's the circle we draw around the people that matter, the people we care about and care for, the folks who inspire us, guide us, root for us. Family means finding common ground, rolling up our sleeves, and making our way side by side. 
Armstrong Bank. Strength runs in our family. There's really only one explanation for businesses who continue to thrive for decades on end, and that's a people-first mentality. Bravado employees live within our existing coverage area just like you. Our kids go to the same schools and play in the same leagues as yours. That's why so much of who we are consists of giving back to our communities. Because your community is also our community. We are your family, your neighbors, and your leader in wireless coverage. Make the bold move and switch today. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home at the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. What happens when you bank local? Businesses grow. Our schools get more funding. Our first responders get more support. Our families flourish. To local bank. A bank that answers when you call. Max Drive In is Fort Gibson's oldest restaurant, celebrating 60 years this year. The best hamburgers, grilled chicken salads, and homemade ranch. And don't forget the dip cones. Max Drive In is a proud supporter of Fort Gibson Schools. This broadcast is brought to you in part by Jeff Walker, your hometown Edward Jones financial advisor. See Jeff and let him help you reach your financial goals. Located at 1205 South Lee Street in Fort Gibson. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes located on South York Street in Muskogee. A prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! The team at New Direction Dental has a passion for giving you a brighter and healthier smile. We use the latest and most up-to-date technology paired with outstanding patient care. Dr. Rouse enjoys creating the perfect individual smile for each patient using dental implants, Invisalign, and veneers to name a few. We're not just about beautiful smiles. New Direction Sleep Care also helps diagnose and treat sleep disorders. We know getting a good night's sleep leads to a healthier and productive lifestyle. Whether your sleep cycle or your smile needs a new direction, contact us today. We would love to help you. Dr. Brant Rouse and Associates, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. 
For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. Zomac School of Music is Eastern Oklahoma's largest music school and music store. Zomac has a huge selection of instruments including top brands like Pearl Drums, PRS Guitars, and Saxophones, Pianos, Trumpets, Violins, and much more. We also rent and sell school band instruments. Zomac has 19 professional music teachers and 400 students per week. We offer lessons on over 20 instruments. We're open Monday through Saturday. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Zomac School of Music. The Tiger's Den is located in downtown Fort Gibson. They have t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, hoodies, hats, and all kinds of tiger gear in sizes from children to adults. They do screen printing and embroidery, too. Give them a call at 918-478-4873 or stop by 131 South Lee. We are cornfields and car shows. We are historic and honorable. We are native and navigate. We are the Spuds, the Lincoln Zephyrs, and the Tigers. We are state champions and, and national, national finalists. finalists. We are academics and athletes. We are red and white. We are original Oklahomans. We are Fort Gibson. Welcome to Tiger Nation. Let's go! This broadcast is brought to you by Local Bank, Trucks for You, American Legion, Frank Glad, Post Number 20, Armstrong Bank, Bravado Wireless, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Somax School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Drive-In, Tiger's Den, Burrow Post Frame Supply, Dr. Coy and Dr. Kimberly Durosset, G&H Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Michelle Mackey at Chinoweth and Cohen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks Four Mile Stop, and Sticks Fort Quick Stop. It's like that real good top shirt though, right? What? It's like a real good top shirt. Third quarter action. 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 Third you know, Tigers had a lot of open looks, they just couldn't connect. Right. I think Ada's done a pretty good job tonight of handling the, the pressure in the press. Yeah. Because um, the Tigers, I mean, we've got a lot of girls with length to them and mm -hmm. speed, and there haven't been as many turnovers as, as you would expect, you know, or that we normally get. So, you know, kudos to the Cougars. If you're the Tigers here, do you come out and just, you know, stick with the game plan since you did have open looks and just say, like, hey, we need to execute and make it? Or, or do you change up the game plan? What, what do you think, yeah, I think they do so. here? And, and maybe they look to drive a little bit more and, and get get the ball in the paint and, and use that size and right. try and get a few more easy buckets. Maybe try and get to the line a few times. I think we did see get where some, it goes from there. Yeah, I, th I think we did get some points when, when you know, Maybe off a rebound or off a drive that we're able to get down low and then kick it out. See, that's when we made our shots. Well, there's times too. I mean, those open three point looks, a lot of times they go in, sometimes they don't. Yeah. yeah. You know, maybe try and uh, adjust from there. Like I said, get, get a few easy ones and we'll see what eight is. We've got schemed up coming out of this timeout. Go, 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 go. Get 
say, I'm, I'm betting if I'm, you know, the Tigers here, I bet they do start looking to see if they can get Addy Whiteley to drive it a little bit more because good things happen when Addy drives. They're going to be on the break here at the steal from Wofford, and Whiteley does get a layup on the uh, lead on the transition. Those are harder than they look, too, because you got people Yo, flying and right behind you. Especially with her. She's moving yeah, down the floor. She moves fast. That's a good finish. Three point attempt to Ada. Gashe Brown pulls down the rebound. There's Addie Whiteley pushing it again. Wofford three point attempt. Rebound, Cache Brown. She'll get to the paint. A couple steps in. And. Driving over the back ball. Yep. Foul star 25, Cache Brown. Her first. Team foul number one. Aiden's done a good job tonight eliminating the height advantage that the Tigers have. Yes, and. Yeah. <laughs> Pick it up at three, you know, all the way on this possession. Yep. Active hands there, gonna be a steal. Pressure paid off. Good pass into the paint for Ada. That'll be free throws. Foul on Stanley. Yes. Foul number Stanley. 12, Lady Stanley, her second personal. Team foul number two. Jameson and Markley at the line for two. Lockdown! Lockdown! First free throw, no good. Second free throw is going to go. Three point lead here for the Tigers. Ada is pressing. Body gets it, splits the defense, gets in the paint. Long pass to the corner. Tigers should go to a 2 3 zone. Ada works it inside there. Stanley with the big block. Now I think the Tigers are going to the zone here probably because in the first half, the points that the Cougars did get seem to come off screens and, and get down in the paint. So probably trying to make them spread it out and, and shoot it a little bit more, not give up the layups off of screens. There's Wiley with the steal. She's back in transition. Good hands there by number 10, Nelson, for the Lady Cougars. Number 31, Ava Campos, and number 11, Carson Woods, back in for the Lady Cougars. Pass to the corner for Stanley. Back iron. Leah Peters, rebound. Cache Brown, rebound. Cache shoots the mid-range jumper. Another offensive rebound for Stanley. She's going to put it up off the glass. Yeah, that's where the height advantage comes in. Both girls, both our post girls are really good. Able to get good rebounds, pass it to each other, and finally finish. They're going to trap in the corner. Leah Peterson transition out. Kicks it to Stanley. Rolls around the rim, no good. Gonna be the Cougars ball right here, out of bounds on the Tigers. Number 15, Sadie Hips, back in for Ada. Wrong pass. Good ball movement from the Lady Cougars to get it in the paint. David Campos.
Campos with the finish on that one. Gache Brown gets to the paint as well. Both teams straighten some layups now. Oh, she picked it up. She's dead with it. Driving ball. a block shot by Stanley. Three on three opportunity. Wiley works her way to the paint for two points. Nice job with a little hesitation dribble. Addie Wiley is just really good with the basketball when she's driving to the goal. Another steal for the Lady Tigers. I'd like to see them get the ball back into the game here. Mm -hmm. I agree, I think. If you swing it a couple times, try and get it to Laney at the top of the key and let her either dish it out or attack the basket. Kind of sizing up the defense, see if they can get him out of position here. There go. There's the paint. It's a good idea. Wofford there, takes a step in. No reset. That's good defense by the Cougars. They're not getting out of position. There you go. There's the pass we've been looking for. Off the glass and in. Stanley to Brown ends up in two points. Yeah, that, that's what the Tigers needed there. Get the ball to lay up top and let her either get it down to the basket or that. It's a good job. Cougars are going to have to push it up. Tigers are kind of going on a little streak here, hoping to extend it. As the quarter ends. Stanley with a corner three. And there's Cache Brown cleaning it up. She's got four Lady Cougars around her. And he's going to get fouled. Yeah, they're going to have a hold here. Back him up, ten. Back him up, ten. <laughs> Got Walker over here in the corner. There's a three from Stanley. Stanley Open that lead up to 12. Now the pressure comes on the Cougars here. Hand off. Pass into the paint. Stanley cleans the first one up. And now Whiteley's in transition. She'll take it herself with the right hand. Go back up again. We have a jump ball here. Jump ball. Two points. We'll see if we're going to play with that up here. Jason Christie coming in. She's going to get Miley Wofford and Peyton Sykes coming in. Number 24, Ryland Truitt. Number 35, Jamison and Marthley back in for Anita. Number 14, Peyton Sykes back in for your Lady Tigers. Okay, when these two won't come in, we'll usually get a couple three balls landing, so something to be aware of. Corner three, Stanley. She goes back to back from behind the arc. Ada works the ball in the middle. That's too high. You're going the other way. I'm going to get one shot here for the Tigers in the half. Coaches are saying 10 seconds when they want her to attack. I prefer eight. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is the conversation. I don't know anything. <laughs> And they go. Yeah, it's always easy to, you know, talk. Getting it. low. Christy puts up the shot off the glass. Stanley's there with the rebound. It rolls in at the buzzer. Well, I guess they would have gone at eight. They wouldn't have got the rebound. So, That's right. Uh, great job by the coaches. Yep, it's not me. <laughs> we'll go into the fourth. Tiger shifts their lead. They now lead uh, 40 to 23. We 
our cornfields and car shows. We are historic and honorable. We are native and navigate. We are the Spuds, the Lincoln Zephyrs, and the Tigers. We are state champions and, and national, national finalists. finalists. We are academics and athletes. We are red and white. We are original Oklahomans. We are Fort Gibson. And we're destiny started. Welcome to Tiger Nation. Looking sharp. Shoot. And back to work here in the second half. Free throw line jumper. I rebound off the rail. Lady Cougars keep it alive. That pass stolen by Jason Christie. You probably want to try to. Sykes scoring three. It's up. And it's good. There we go. Payton Sykes. Payton Sykes. Jason Christie coming in. Three balls are going to get made. Good shot by her. Tigers lead now up to 20. Drive runner. Good score there. Sadie Epps. It's going to be a, you know. Sadie Epps. Sophomore. Yep. It's a, we, we have an 18 point lead, but it doesn't feel like it. You know, it's, it's been a different game. But good basketball teams are able to do that when, they're, when their main plays aren't landing, you know, maybe their shots aren't falling, they find a way. You know, I always say there are no bad wins. There are no. That's fair. And there are no good losses. That's fair. But I think the Lady Tigers have done a really good job in the second half of cleaning stuff up and, and getting stuff to the paint. Right. Not being as streaky, being more consistent. This. Right. And the, you know, yeah. and they stay in their offensive rhythm and the three ball start, yep. you know, going in more. Done a really good job here in the second half. Hey, shooter! Stanley active hands, keeps it alive. Lee Peters comes up with it. Another possession here for the Lady Tigers. Wiley drives and kicks to Stanley. She'll step into this three. Wiley's there with the offensive rebound. Good pump fake Stanley. And she'll put that one in. Tough shot there. Yeah, good shot. Kind of moving to her left off one foot. Little shades of Dirk Nowitzki. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah? a, that's a you throwback. Think? Yeah. The high school kids wouldn't know who that is anymore. Yeah, a lot of people don't know he was German. back here offensively. We get the Sykes in the corner. And that three's good. A couple of threes for Peyton Sykes. She's got a good shot, Coach. Cougars get the ball down low. And it's going to be a travel going the other way. 
I think the shot blocking ability of Stanley kind of helped force that one a little bit. 100%. That's kind of a question for you that's uh, out of the box a little bit, but they talk every year about a high school shot clock. So Walker for a three. I don't know. I think it's. I think the big deal about it is is funding and being able to equip it in all the gyms, and, and then you know. Well, it gets talked about in every year because you get to the state tournament and some team holds the ball. You know, I, I like the idea of it. Like I said, I think it's more about just really setting up the system for all the schools and helping that out. It is more the big deal for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Scoreboards are not cheap. No. Skip pass there, and they work into the paint. Stanley's there for another block. Almost. She keeps it alive. Six blocks tonight. In here, Lady Tigers, number two, Alexa Rexton. Number four, Sage Minson. Number five, Brindley Moore. Number 23, Raylan Keene. A couple of subs here for the Lady Tigers. Sage Benson. Alexa Ragsdale. Brimley Moore and Raylan King. Ragsdale bring the ball up the floor here in the fourth. Sykes drives. Nothing going there, Get, just kicks it back out. The Cougars work the ball around. That pass is just a little too strong. We're going the other way. Tigers back to work offensively. They get the ball to King, scoop it up, no good. Going the other way. Aggressive drive there. Good rebound by the around. Tigers. Yep. Rackdale will push the pace down the floor. Peter's going to be checking in here. Back in for Fort Gibson, number one, Aldine Peters. Number 10, McKavia Nelson. And for Ada. Two minutes to go, left in this one. Good, Good defense, defense there from King. Yep. The Tigers out in transition a little bit. Ollie Peters to step into a three. That ball bounces around. Good rebound there from the Lady Cougars. Elbow jumper rolls in and out. Rebound. Turns into a jump ball. Arrow going the way of the Tigers. Lady Tigers. Up. Yeah. I thought it the backboard, the top of the backboard, it was uh, No, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. There's two points there for Brittany Moore. It's been 15 years since I played, but I thought that's what it was. 
Guess not. Forty seven seconds left to go in this one. Coach, what was the last year you played basketball? I was. It's my second time in the eighth grade. <laughs> I didn't play. <laughs> you know, when you're five nine and you're not very fast, you can't jump very high. You kind of start to put the pieces of the puzzle together. Well, when the, so maybe when, it's time to go swing the bat. When, when the coaches say great screen setter, I uh, was an excellent. You know, I led my junior high team in box out and three pointers <laughs> attempted. So. <laughs> Didn't really transfer to the high school game. <laughs> we got 15 seconds here. The Ada Cougars, did, they played a good game. The, the Tigers did a good job finding a way and getting a big win after a tough game last night. Yes, it is always good to get back on the right track. And, and you know, you're in that playoff push type of mode here at the end of the regular season. So, so your final night, your Fort Gibson Lady uh, Tigers 53 and the 80, Ada Lady Cougars, Cougars 25. We'll be right back Jameson. with boys game action. We are cornfields and car shows. We are historic and honorable. We are native and navigate. We are the Spuds, the Lincoln Zephyrs, and the Tigers. We, we are state champions and, and national, national finalists. finalists. We are academics and athletes. We are red and white. We are original Oklahomans. We are Fort Gibson. And we're destiny started. Welcome to Tiger Nation. Let's go! This broadcast is brought to you by Local Bank. Trucks for you. American Legion Frank Glad Post Number 20. Armstrong Bank. Bravado Wireless, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Somax School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Drive-In, Tiger's Den, Burrow Post Frame Supply, Dr. Coy and Dr. Kimberly Durosset, G&H Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Michelle Mackey at Chinoweth and Cohen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks Four Miles Stop, and Sticks Fort Quick Stop. bigger than bloodlines, stronger than DNA. It's the circle we draw around the people that matter, the people we care about and care for, the folks who inspire us, guide us, root for us. Family means finding common ground, rolling up our sleeves, and making our way side by side. Armstrong Bank. Strength runs in our family. There's really only one explanation for businesses who continue to thrive for decades on end, and that's a people-first mentality. Bravado employees live within our existing coverage area just like you. Our kids go to the same schools and play in the same leagues as yours. That's why so much of who we are consists of giving back to our communities, because your community is also our community. 
We are your family, your neighbors, and your leader in wireless coverage. Make the bold move and switch today. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home at the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. What happens when you bank local? Businesses grow. Our schools get more funding. Our first responders get more support. Our families flourish. Our community. To local bank. A bank that answers when you call. Max Drive In is Fort Gibson's oldest restaurant, celebrating 60 years this year. The best hamburgers, grilled chicken salads, and homemade ranch. And don't forget the dip cones. Max Drive In is a proud supporter of Fort Gibson Schools. This broadcast is brought to you in part by Jeff Walker, your hometown Edward Jones financial advisor. See Jeff and let him help you reach your financial goals. Located at 1205 South Lee Street in Fort Gibson. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes located on South York Street in Muskogee. A prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! The team at New Direction Dental has a passion for giving you a brighter and healthier smile. We use the latest and most up-to-date technology paired with outstanding patient care. Dr. Rouse enjoys creating the perfect individual smile for each patient using dental implants, Invisalign, and veneers to name a few. We're not just about beautiful smiles. New Direction Sleep Care also helps diagnose and treat sleep disorders. We know getting a good night's sleep leads to a healthier and productive lifestyle. Whether your sleep cycle or your smile needs a new direction, contact us today. We would love to help you. Dr. Brant Rouse and Associates, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535.
Zomac School of Music is Eastern Oklahoma's largest music school and music store. Zomac has a huge selection of instruments, including top brands like Pearl Drums, PRS Guitars, and Saxophones, Pianos, Trumpets, Violins, and much more. We also rent and sell school band instruments. Zomac has 19 professional music teachers and 400 students per week. We offer lessons on over 20 instruments. We're open Monday through Saturday. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Zomac School of Music. The Tiger's Den is located in downtown Fort Gibson. They have t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, hoodies, hats, and all kinds of tiger gear in sizes from children to adults. They do screen printing and embroidery, too. Give them a call at 918-478-4873 or stop by 131 South Lee. We are cornfields and car shows. We are historic and honorable. We are native and navigate. We are the Spuds, the Lincoln Zephyrs, and the Tigers. We are state champions and, and national, national finalists. finalists. We are academics and athletes. We are red and white. We are original Oklahomans. We are Fort Gibson. And we're destiny started. Welcome to Tiger Nation. Let's go! This broadcast is brought to you by Local Bank. Trucks for you. American Legion Frank Glad Post Number 20. Armstrong Bank. Bravado Wireless, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Somax School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Drive-In, Tiger's Den, Burrow Post Frame Supply, Dr. Coy and Dr. Kimberly Durosset, G&H Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Michelle Mackey at Chinoweth and Cohen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks Four Miles Stop, and Sticks Fort Quick Stop. bigger than bloodlines, stronger than DNA. It's the circle we draw around the people that matter, the people we care about and care for, the folks who inspire us, guide us, root for us. Family means finding common ground, rolling up our sleeves, and making our way side by side. Armstrong Bank. Strength runs in our family. There's really only one explanation for businesses who continue to thrive for decades on end, and that's a people-first mentality. Bravado employees live within our existing coverage area just like you. Our kids go to the same schools and play in the same leagues as yours. That's why so much of who we are consists of giving back to our communities, because your community is also our community. We are your family, your neighbors, and your leader in wireless coverage. Make the bold move and switch today. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home and the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust.
Northern Harrison Club is home of your Fort Gibson Tigers. This matchup has the Ada Cougars, rank number eight in class 4A, taking on your Fort Gibson Tigers. The visiting team on the board will be the Cougars. They enter the contest with a record of 12 wins and five losses. Let's meet their starters. A senior, number two, Devon McAllister. A senior, number 11, Carter Colon. A senior, number 15, George Maddox. A junior, number 23, Tremaine Gray. And a junior, number 33, Keith Cook. Teams are coached by Kyle Coffey, assisted by Cody Ma and Randolph. Wow, so number 12 is a, a really good clue. And now, for your four gifts and Tigers, with a record of 11 wins and 6 losses, let's meet your star. At 5'10, a senior, number 11, Blaine Scott. At 5'8, a freshman, number 21, Kat Morrell. At 5'8, a freshman, number 22, Brody Scott. At 6'3, a senior, number 25, Cooper Wicks. And at 6 is a freshman, number 30, Cooper Hatfield. Your time is approached by Todd Nickerson, assisted by Jordan London and Chuck London. Referees for this game, Johnny T. Keith Neighbors, and Dustin McGraw. Number 15 is actually the, uh, number 15 is a uh, really good point that was wrong. Number 15 is the All-State. Let's get ready to rumble! And Tigers win the tip. Baseline jumpers up no good. Wicks comes up with the rebound. He'll get an open look at a corner three, and it's good. Cooper Wicks has been scoring the ball well lately. Yeah, he's been playing really good lately, man. He does a lot of dirty work, got the rebound. Fans there, Cooper Hackett with the big block. He's going to go back to the Cougars here. Let's get past to the corner. Three opportunities for the Cougars, no good. Going to foul on number 33, Keith Cook. Foul number 33, Keith first. Cook. That's his first team foul, number one. Cougars take a chance right there, able to keep that one alive. They'll be on the break. He was kind of losing the ball over there and did a good job grabbing it, putting it up at the end. Good cut by Kai Morrell. Hackett's there to clean it up. He'll go off the glass and get it. Good work getting the ball deep there. Go, 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 go
Cougars come into this game ranked number eight in class 4A. Ball still bouncing around. Got a foul here on Blaine Scott. Foul number 11, Blaine Scott is first. Team foul number one. Good luck to put right back. Go the other way for the four against the Tigers now. Morrell's going to have an open three look. It looked good, it is good. Three points, Kai Morrell. Up. Early 8 to 2 lead to start this one out. They're doing a good job on the board so far. Good move. Yeah, that's good body control right there with the reverse layup. Scott, quick release on that three. Morell skies for that rebound. He'll put it up off the glass. No good. Hackett's battling. He tries to tip it back in. Everything on that one but the finish. A couple of good yep. offensive rebounds. Keeping the possession alive. That pass is too long. Turns into two points for Ada Cougars. Cougars are getting to a trap there. It's going to be a Tigers ball. In the paint, and they're going to collapse on him. Good recovery there from the Tigers on defense. The ball stays in bounds. Wayne Scott will be running the break now. Get the Wicks in the corner. Cougars back in transition and. Jump ball here. <laughs> Jump ball to Ada. Got a little mix up down there in the paint. Calls number three, Keith Cook. Second person on second team foul. Foul charge number 22, Brody Scott, his first team foul number two. Get to his own here. Three point tip Cougars. That one's too, too long, long rebound. Thinking about it. Takes a shot, front iron. Another offensive rebound, Cougars. That shot definitely affected by Cooper Hackett. Good defensive possession there for the Fort Gibson Tigers. Be 
stolen it. Not a bad foul there. No, I think we stop transition. You don't want to make it an easy layup at all, or you know, layup it up, you know, take the foul, and you can set it up. Cooper Crowley checking in for the Fort Gibbs Tigers. Same page. And if your attacker is number 20, Carl Garrett. Number 23, Jermaine Gray back in for the Cougars. right there on that shot. Battle for the ball down low. Can be Tiger's ball. Yep, good job there. It's been a physical game so far to this mm -hmm. point. Both teams are battling a little bit, getting a little chippy. We're gonna have a foul at number 12 from Ada. Deontay. Well, Deontay work here. Got to get this one in quick. It's going to be stolen from the Cougars. Big block, Cooper Wicks. Excellent recovery there with the Cougars in transition. And he'll get a three-point look. Wayne Scott battling for the offensive rebound, not able to get it. Cougars back in transition. And they'll get a layup. Tie ball game here with the clock winding down the first. Been a defensive battle so far. Crawley's going to get it to Wicks down low. He'll turn around real quick. Not able to get it to go. They just got five seconds to make a play. Drive. High off the glass. That shot's off in time, no good. We'll have a tie ball game. I wasn't sure if that was a pass or a shot. I want to say it was a pass, but nothing going there. We'll be back with second quarter action, tie ball game here at the Harrison Field House. We are cornfields and car shows. We are historic and honorable. We are native and navigate. We are the Spuds, the Lincoln Zephyrs, and the Tigers. We are state champions and, and national, national finalists. finalists. We are academics and athletes. We are red and white. We are original Oklahomans. We are Fort Gibson. And we're destiny started. Welcome to Tiger Nation. Let's go! You purchase your paper at the southeast corner of the arena for one dollar. The Tiger Nation paper airplane challenge coming up at halftime. Second quarter action for Gibson basketball. And here we go, second quarter. Been a physical defensive battle right here. 
Cougars in the transition. They'll get an easy layup there. Wicks, wing three. Off the front iron, no good. Cougars lead by two now. So there's a long Drop choice steal. Tackle check back here. Cooper Hackins. No good. I mean, Crawley's got that quick release, man. He's a good three-point shooter. You know, he's got some range, too. He's made some very deep threes in his last two years. Blaine's got a break. Back in for your Tigers, number 21, Kai Morrell. Morrell goes to his right. Gets a step, gets in the paint. That ball's going to be blocked, but ends up with Brody Scott. He'll drive, work his way into the lane. Well, that one's tipped as well. Oh, that's a traveling challenge for Gibson basketball. Cooper Wicks coming back in, Blaine Scott. Back in for your Tigers, number 25, Cooper Wicks, and number 11, Blaine Scott. go here in the half. Cooper Wicks working down well. Cooper Hackett. There's a couple Coopers out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tigers can run as many as three Coopers out there at a time, I believe. And travel down here. Going back to the eight of Coopers. Where Gibson's kind of gone stagnant a little bit offensively. Hopefully, he'll turn around here pretty quickly. You know, and defense still holding up for the most part. Yeah, I'm playing great all the, defense. All the Cougar points, I believe, in this. Well, four out of the six Cougar points in this. Uh, good points have they scored four? They haven't scored a lot of points. Yeah, yeah. It's been low scoring on both sides. Good pass. Oh. I just want to let that one go if you're yeah, no the Tigers. Doubt. You don't want that one. Thought Cooper Hagen might flush that one. Uh, I thought he was going to throw it down myself. A couple of screens are looking to keep it down low. 
That's a five second violation. Five second count. Data basketball. Job by Cooper Hackett there. Let's see big fellas get on the floor. Five Jump ball to Ada. Number 24, Karan Richardson, and as well as number 10, Fisher Mark. <laughs> Step through a good pass for the Cougars. Turns in the two points. Carter Colon. They get the ball to hack it down low. Tigers keep possession there. Scott comes up with that one. He gets into a mid-range jumper. And it's good. Two points for Scott and the Tigers. It's a good job being patient and finding your shots. Good rebound there, Cooper Hackett. Big possession here for the Tigers playing Scott three. High off the rim. Kaimarell keeps it alive, falls down. Unfortunate there for the Tigers. Yeah. You, again, playing hard, playing great defense. You know, only got two points this quarter, so. Been a low scoring affair on both Very sides, low on both teams. Which I think plays in more favor to the Fort Gibson Tigers. I agree, I agree. Passing the paint, stays alive. Tough drive there. Hot, too hard off the glass, and I think that's going to be a foul. Yep. Foul number 10, Fisher Marr. That's his first team foul, number three. They do a three fouls in the half, or in the quarter. They get the ball down low to hack it, and they're going to collapse. There's four all around him. He's got to find the open man. They get it back to him. I mean, it's instant collapse the defense every time they get it to hack it. Well, Gibson's going to have possession. They're going to use a timeout here to settle things. We'll use this opportunity to give a shout out to our sponsors. The local bank, Trucks for You, American Legion Frank Glass, Number 20, Armstrong Bank, Nevada Wireless, Cornerstone Single Home Infinitory, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply, Control Electric, Zomax School of Music, Jeff Walker and Edward Jones, Max Driving, Tiger's Den, Pro Post Frame Supply, Dr. Coyne, Dr. Kimberly Durasa, GH Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee State Center, Michelle Mackey at Chinwick and Cohen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Six Four Mile Stop, and Six Sport Quick Stop. Thank you guys for supporting Fort Gibson Tiger Vision, Fort Gibson Athletics, and Fort Gibson Public School. Brody Scott goes to work offensively. He can get fouled. Keevan Richardson is first team foul number four on the Cougars. One more. Tigers will shoot free throws. Cougars. Scott gives, gives it to Wicks. He 
has been good from that mid-range. Doesn't get that one to go, but the ball stays with the Tigers. Scott to Scott for the three, and that one's good. Got it back to the one. There's a big time shot there for the Tigers. Good hands there before it gets in defense, but then he caught with a foul. Foul number 22, Brody Scott, his second personal. Brody will have two First on him now. Foul. Yeah, to be careful the rest of the half. You don't want to pick up a cheap one late. Yep, I think they're going to sub for him right here just to make sure he right. gets in the second half a little bit. Again, yeah, that's a good, that's a good, good sub, I think, because you need him in the second half. Yep, and Comerell does a good job bringing the ball yeah. to the floor, and, and Brother Blaine can do as well. Three point attempt, Eddie Cougars. Long rebound, not able to get it. Oh, grab that Just one. off his fingertips. Normally, Cooper Wicks does get those. He's got that long reach as well. Watch 14, about to get a screen set. Ada slowing down a little bit here. Pull it out. I bet they go for the last second shot here. Yeah, I think the Fort Gibson Tigers are fine with that as well. They've had an excellent half defensively. If they get a stop here on this last possession, they'll go in halftime with a lot of momentum. Yeah, a stop would be huge here. You don't want to let them get a basket in the end. Ten seconds, here they go. He picked up his dribble. Make them take a tough shot. The Tigers keeping the ball out of the paint. There it is. No fouls here. Baseline jumper, it's off in time, it rattles around and it's good. Got to shoot his tough, but hey, if they're going to make that shot though, that's a shot going to take. So. Yep, we're going to halftime, down by three points. Half and we'll be right back. Ada, 16, Wilkinson, 13. We are cornfields and car shows. We are historic and honorable. We are native and navigate. We are the Spuds, the Lincoln Zephyrs, and the Tigers. We, we are state champions and, and national, national finalists. finalists. We are academics and athletes. We are red and white. We are original Oklahomans. We are Fort Gibson. And we're destiny started. Welcome to Tiger Nation. Let's go! This broadcast is brought to you by Local Bank. Trucks for you. American Legion Frank Glad Post Number 20. Armstrong Bank. Bravado Wireless. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory. Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Keith Hardware and Supply. Renfro Electric, Somax School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Drive-In, Tiger's Den, Burrow Post Frame Supply, Dr. Coy and Dr. Kimberly DuRosset, G&H Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Michelle Mackey at Chenoweth and Cohen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks Four Mile Stop, and Sticks Fort Quick Stop. bigger than bloodlines, stronger than DNA. It's the circle we draw around the people that matter, the people we care about and care for, the folks who inspire us, guide us, root for us. Family means finding common ground, rolling up our sleeves, and making our way side by side. 
Armstrong Bank. Strength runs in our family. There's really only one explanation for businesses who continue to thrive for decades on end, and that's a people-first mentality. Bravado employees live within our existing coverage area just like you. Our kids go to the same schools and play in the same leagues as yours. That's why so much of who we are consists of giving back to our communities. Because your community is also our community. We are your family, your neighbors, and your leader in wireless coverage. Make the bold move and switch today. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home at the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. What happens when you bank local? Businesses grow. Our schools get more funding. Our first responders get more support. Our families flourish. Local Bank. A bank that answers when you call. Max Drive In is Fort Gibson's oldest restaurant, celebrating 60 years this year. The best hamburgers, grilled chicken salads, and homemade ranch. And don't forget the dip cones. Max Drive In is a proud supporter of Fort Gibson Schools. This broadcast is brought to you in part by Jeff Walker, your hometown Edward Jones financial advisor. See Jeff and let him help you reach your financial goals. Located at 1205 South Lee Street in Fort Gibson. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes located on South York Street in Muskogee. A prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson school events. Go Tigers! The team at New Direction Dental has a passion for giving you a brighter and healthier smile. We use the latest and most up-to-date technology paired with outstanding patient care. Dr. Rouse enjoys creating the perfect individual smile for each patient using dental implants, Invisalign, and veneers to name a few. We're not just about beautiful smiles. New Direction Sleep Care also helps diagnose and treat sleep disorders. We know getting a good night's sleep leads to a healthier and productive lifestyle. Whether your sleep cycle or your smile needs a new direction, contact us today. We would love to help you. Dr. Brant Rouse and Associates, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. 
For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. Zomac School of Music is Eastern Oklahoma's largest music school and music store. Zomac has a huge selection of instruments including top brands like pearl drums, PRS guitars, and saxophones, pianos, trumpets, violins, and much more. We also rent and sell school band instruments. Zomac has 19 professional music teachers and 400 students per week. We offer lessons on over 20 instruments. We're open Monday through Saturday. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Zomac School of Music. The Tiger's Den is located in downtown Fort Gibson. They have t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, hoodies, hats, and all kinds of tiger gear in sizes from children to adults. They do screen printing and embroidery, too. Give them a call at 918-478-4873 or stop by 131 South Lee. We are cornfields and car shows. We are historic and honorable. We are native and navigate. We are the Spuds, the Lincoln Zephyrs, and the Tigers. We are state champions and, and national, national finalists. finalists. We are academics and athletes. We are red and white. We are original Oklahomans. We are Fort Gibson. Welcome to Tiger Nation. Let's go! This broadcast is brought to you by Local Bank, Trucks for You, American Legion Frank Glad Post Number 20, Armstrong Bank, Bravado Wireless, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Somax School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Drive-In, Tiger's Den, Burrow Post Frame Supply, Dr. Coy and Dr. Kimberly Durosset, G&H Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Michelle Mackey at Chinoweth and Cohen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks Four Miles Stop, and Sticks Fort Quick Stop.
Tigers working the ball around here offensively. Come back here down to the Tigers. Tigers looking to get the ball in here. They'll throw it deep to Conrail. Let them get physical down low here. Hoop working. Scott's going to drive. Steps through. Cougars take back over here after a long possession from the Tigers. Throw the ball up. Off the glass and good. Cougars. Yeah. 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 Looks like both teams are kind of sticking to the game plan mm -hmm. here. Be aggressive, be physical. Wicks mid-range jumper, and that's good. That's been his, been his money spot for a long time now. Yeah, he does a good job that top of the key. Game remains three point deficit for the Tigers. Come on, Pat! There it comes up from the bottom. There it comes, Brody! There it comes, Pat! Brody! Cougars making some long passes, trying to get the Tigers out of position. They'll get a three point look. That one's front iron, no good. Shout out to our sponsors. The local bank, Chuck for you, American Legion, Frank Glad Post number 20, Armstrong Bank, Gravato Wireless, 27 Field Home Crematory, Well Gets an Education Foundation, Guitar Wearing Supply, and Pro Electric, Bill Max School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Drive In, Tiger's Den, Royal Post Frank Supply, Dr. Cooley, Dr. Kimberly Dewey Austin. GMH Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and the Skokie Skate Center, Michelle Mackey at Chenoweth and Cohen, New Direction, Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Six Four Mile Stop, and Six Four Quick Stop. So, apparently, the technical foul set on Ada is for a flop while setting the screen. Tigers will retain possession after a technical foul. Chippy yeah, they're battling they're down there, man. It's hard not to watch the ball, but take a peek down the coast. Yeah, they got a moving screen there on the Tigers. You know, I, th I think the problem is you're letting them get a little too physical, maybe. When well, you start getting too physical, yeah. boys aren't going to back down. They're exactly. Gonna start You're going to take whatever you can get. And we're going to have to... I wouldn't be surprised if they start calling it a little tighter to try to get it back under control. Right. 
Three-point attempt. Cougars, and that's good. Takes it to the rack. Not able to get that one to go. Cougars in transition. Look at a layup there. It's about seven straight there from Carter Columbia. Tigers need to settle this thing down a little bit. Try and get some easy ones. Yeah, you want to slow the momentum. It's kind of shifted to the eight away. Blaine Scott's going to have a three-point attempt, and it's good. Yeah, big-time answer from Blaine Scott. That's what you need from one of your big-time seniors, make a big-time shot, to yep. bring you back, kind of change the momentum a little bit. Stop would go a long ways here on this possession. Cougars really working the ball to Cologne down there. That ball's bouncing around. Blaine Scott's going to hang on to it. There's the stop. Now they're going to have to answer with some more points here. Camarell hangs on the baseline. Is going to get a foul call. Sometimes on those, it's that other hand. You, you see maybe a block of all the balls, but maybe there's something in the body. Well, usually if you see the hand kind of break sideways, you're going to get the penalty yep. with that. Hey, good block, Carter. Good block, Morales with the line on pros. One point game again. Come on, let's go. Three point ten Cougars. That one's good. Devin McAllister for three. in the paint, D tries to dump it off to Hackett. It's going to end up against the baseline pad. Foul number 10, Fisher Marr, his second person on team foul number five. Go to the, the line, line four, Tigers number 22, Rogan Scott. Bill Tigers on the bonus. <laughs> First one's no good. Number 12, Deontay Lindsay back in for the Cougars. Second, it's up and good. Cut to a three point game. Tigers are doing a good job staying in it. They do need a big stop right here. Cougars with a couple of big threes in the past minute or so. They're saying that was off Cooper Hackett. Must have hit him in the foot or something. Uh -huh. Yeah, I couldn't see it from here. Have to check the replay. <laughs> hit the replay with their stat guy. Three point attempt there. Couple of passes down low. Gonna be an and run opportunity for the Cougars. Pass number 32, Brad Hackett is second. Team foul number two. Dante Lindsay at the line for the three point play. It's up. And good. Two minutes left to go here in the third. Cougars able to finish in transition there. Yeah, 
You get the ball to Blaine Scott. He's going to drive. And oh, my God. I didn't see what the call was. Was that a three-second line? I don't think it was a three-second line. Richardson. Good job, three seconds to the line. Back in for your Tigers, Carl Garrett. Wicks is going to try and be a pesky defender here. Do a one man press. You have to be careful, yep, and get a reach in foul. Foul's number 25, Cooper Wicks, his second team foul number three. Two on Wicks. Trying to get a trap set as soon as they get into the corner. Steal from Brody Scott. He'll take it himself off the glass and good. Brody Scott. Good job by the Tiger defense. Yeah, bring it back within six. Takes a chance oh. there. Kind of landed weird. Hopefully he just jammed it. He's not getting up. Hopefully it's nothing serious. He did land on it, Funky. Yeah, I saw it, you know, something buckle, maybe. Hopefully it's just an awkward landing, nothing more. Time out of the four charge, the Tiger is gonna be a 30 second timeout. Was he saying it's cramping? <laughs> That'd be best case scenario. Yeah. Just moving it around. Good, that's, that's what you want. You want yeah, just walking gingerly, but doesn't seem to be too serious. That's good news for the Tigers. Yeah. You don't want to see any kid get injured. Especially not a knee. Yeah, it it looked weird, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It came down and kind of buckled mm -hmm. on him, it looked like. And you know, hate that for anybody. I'm glad that I'm glad it doesn't seem serious. Yeah, the Tigers, they need to put some points on the board yeah, here. 24 left in the third. If you're the Tigers, you're pretty happy with that right now. You can get a last second shot and maybe take attack some of this lead. It's only six points, so I can be over game pretty quickly. Cougars going to get a steal here. And they'll be going to the line after that turnover. Foul number 21, Kenny Morrell, his first team foul number four on the Tigers. Devin McAllister at the line to shoot two. First one's up and good. Tigers still have enough time to get off the shot. They'll probably have to maybe beat a press and mm -hmm. throw up the three, but there is time. Go get it. It's, it's going to be an offensive rebound. It's going to up two more points. No, no, no time out there. Woo. End of the third quarter. Eight to 34 from losing 25. Be a nine point game going into the fourth, and we'll be right back. Max Drive-In is Fort Gibson's oldest restaurant, celebrating 60 years this year. The best hamburgers, grilled chicken salads, and homemade ranch. And don't forget the dip cones. Max Drive-In is a proud supporter of Fort Gibson Schools. 
Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson School events. Go Tigers! This broadcast is brought to you in part by Jeff Walker, your hometown Edward Jones financial advisor. See Jeff and let him help you reach your financial goals. Located at 1205 South Lee Street in Fort Gibson. We're back here in the fourth quarter. Your Tigers jump by nine here. Been a physical defensive battle so far. Cottonwell's going to come up with the steal. Needs to finish on this transition play. High off the glass, and it's good. Nice job there, Cottonwell. Get the scoring started in the fourth for the Tigers. They cut the lead to seven. Active fans again, not able to finish the steal. Tigers need some missed shots and some turnovers here. Get them back in the game. There's one again. That's Carl Garrett with the steal. Nice to see Brody Scott checked back in. Blaine Scott, corner three. It's up just off the front iron. Long pass. Ends up with two for the Cougars. Finds Wicks in the corner. That three's up. In and out. Carl Garrett battling for the rebound. Comes down with it. He's going to go back up with it. Gets fouled and it just rolls out. Carl Garrett to the line shooting two free throws. Good tough play by Big Carl right there. Getting the ball uh, both sides of the court. Foul's number 10, Fisher Marr. His third personal. First team foul. Carl Garrett at the line to shoot two. First one's up and good for Big Carl. I didn't know Big Carl was a lefty. Yes, he is. He plays a little outfield. Pitches and plays some first base for the Tiger baseball team. Second free throw is up and good. Something about those lefties just seems a little bit smooth when they shoot the ball. Cut to a seven-point lead here. Carl Garrett goes to work defensively. Good defense, just got to come up with the rebound now. Good job there from the Tiger defense. Another rebound for Carl Garrett. See if they can cut into this lead again. Spin move, Brody Scott. Cougars close the door pretty quickly. Morell works his way in the paint, finds an open Blaine Scott for three. Morell, offensive rebound, he gets it to Big Carl. Carl patiently waits, off the glass and good. Five point ball game, Tigers on a little bit of a run here. Carl's done a great job coming in off the bench and just giving you instant minutes. And yeah, he's been the spark plug rebounds. for this, yeah. this second half. See if they can string together a couple more stops. And they lose, the, Ada's gonna lose the ball and it's gonna be going the way of the Tigers. Tiger defense stepping up right now. Five point ball game. It looks like they may be in a. Never mind. I think they might be picking them up at half court. They're going to settle back in their man defense. Big rebound here. Tigers come down with it. Morell drives, gets it to Garrett. Off the glass. Good. Two more for Carl Garrett. Two point ball game. Five minutes to go here at the Harrison Court House. Cougars will have to take a timeout, try and stop this Tiger run. We'll use this as an opportunity to give a shout out to our sponsors. 
Local Bank. Checks for you. American Legion Print. Glad Post number 20. Armstrong Bank. Nevada Wireless. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory. Four Gets an Education Foundation. Keep Hardware and Supply. Renfro Electric. Home at School Music. Jeff Walker and Edward Jones. Max Drive In. Tiger's Day. Borough Post Friend Supply. Dr. Cooley and Dr. Kimmy D. Austin. GNH Outdoor Services. Green Country Lanes. Muskogee Skate Center. Michelle Mackey at Chinua with Cohen. New Direction Dillon Sleep Care. Simple Simon's Pizza. Six Four Miles Stop and Six Four Stop. Thank you for supporting. Fort Gibson Tiger Vision, Tiger Athletics, and Fort Gibson Public Schools. You're going to take a shot at the live reads. You're going to take a shot at the live reads. No, Give a no. shout out to our sponsors. I come from the Keys High School, the Keys Cougars, where we don't read real books. <laughs> Ada uses that time hit, try and stop the Tiger momentum. See how that plays out here, five minutes left to go. They get the ball to Cologne, and that's a big block! Not quite sure who that was. Paul Garrett does come up with the rebound, though. Cooper Wicks. Big block, Cooper Wicks. They get them around the corner. This would be a big three. Paul Garrett comes up with the rebound! Oh, it will stay with the Tigers. He almost gets that one to go, though. He took a shot to the face, leave the left side's face, got a big red mark. It's been physical down there all it game long. Wicks flashes to the basket, high off the glass and good. One point game, Tigers. Need to keep the defensive intensity up here. Four and a half left to go. Back to fans, Kai Morrell. Thought it might have knocked off the eight of players' head off the, the tip, but stays with the Cougars. You can see the momentum change. Tough drive there with the kick. Three-point attempt, Cougars rolls around the rim. Offensive rebound. The putback's good. Come on. You don't want to let them have the offensive board right there. Three-point ball game here. Deep three, Cooper Wicks. Carmel's there for the putback. Is going to be fouled going to the line. Excellent read on that rebound by Carmel. Flying in from the three-point line. Yeah, he did a great job reading it off the reading it off the rim and going and making a play. Big free throws here. First one's up, good. George Maddox back in with the Cougars. Ball game again after the free throws from Morrell. Nice drive there. Group number two, McAllister. Two points for the Cougars. Scoring's kind of been blown wide open this half. Scott finds a step to his left. Free throw line jumper. It's up and good. Nice touch there, Brody Scott. Tough shot, leaning left. I feel like the defense has still been at the same level. It's, you know, they're just making tough shots now. Exactly. You need to stop here for the Tigers. Good defense here from the Tigers. Carmel flies in. Ball still loose. Cougars come up with it. Two points of McAllister there on the layup. Scott to his left. Gets to the middle of the floor. And Scott tries to drive in. He's going to need some help over there in the corner. Good timeout, Paul. There. 
full time out. This will be a full. We'll be right back after this commercial break. This broadcast is brought to you by Local Bank, Trucks for You, American Legion, Frank Glad, Post Number 20, Armstrong Bank, Bravado Wireless, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Ford Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Somax School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Drive-In, Tiger's Den, Burrow Post Frame Supply, Dr. Coy and Dr. Kimberly Durosset, G&H Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Michelle Mackey at Chinoweth and Cohen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks Four Mile Stop, and Sticks Fort Quick Stop. Two minutes, 19 seconds left to go in this game. Three points. Your Fork and Tigers trail. It's been a very exciting fourth quarter. Well, and Scott comes around the screen. He drives it, gets double, gets it to Morrell. He rises up in the paint, rolls it around the rim, and it's good. Tough shot, Ty Morrell. Big, big defensive uh, possession right here for the Tigers. Uh, they've answered a lot of these runs, but mm -hmm. Ada keeps Extend their lead back to three. Scramble for the ball. Ada able to save it. Tiger's going to have to recover here defensively. Clock's winding it down. Tiger's still trapped by one. Going to have to keep the pressure up. Step through. Off the glass. Rolls out. Tiger's with a chance to take the lead on this possession. One minute to go. What's the timing on this possession? For you, uh, coach? Uh, I think you just got to go and try and get the lead. I get the thought of trying to be slow with oh, it. Oh, picked no, up his so. dribble there. Yeah. If you get a shot, take it. Yeah, you don't get a force anything, but you do want to give yourself an opportunity for a second chance. Blaine Scott thought about it, pulled it back down. Tigers get it to Scott in the corner. He's going to reset it now. 30 seconds here. He'll drive to the basket, spin, fade away, rattles around the rim, no good. Tiger Swarm, and it's going to be a jump ball. Jump ball, It's going to be the Tiger's ball here, 20 seconds. Move to try to get a chime out there, but the jump ball call coming first. Good timeout by Coach Dickerson yep. here. To Trying to chill things out. Great job to fight for that there at the end after the we won that defensive rebound, rebound situation. Last second strategy, he's got 20 seconds left to go in this one. Yeah, I think you're gonna have something drawn up on the inbounds play. Yeah, you want to get an open shot out of the in inbounds play. You want to give yourself an opportunity for a rebound if you don't make it. If you don't make it, but, you know, you also want to force just a bad shot as soon as you catch it. You right. got time. Let's get a good look. You know, you know, in worst case scenario, you'll get a good look. You know, to, to win or lose the game. Right. You know, at worst right. case scenario. Right. So, right. I agree. Don't force anything, but if it's there, take it. We'll see what the Tigers come up with here. I think if the inbound play it gets covered, you bring it out, then you attack about 10 seconds. And give yourself a chance for a mm -hmm. Re offensive rebound, yeah. put back. What you don't want, which a lot of people, you know, they do it because you see in the NBA here and there, but you don't want a, a three pointer with two seconds left to try and hit a buzzer beater. I don't think you want to. And here we go. Going to 
Gonna have to get it inbounded quickly. That'll be their last time out. Tigers. It's gonna be a full time out. Full time out here. Pressure's gonna be on this inbounds play. Tough spot to inbounds from. There below the blaze on. They'll check in Cooper Hackett here, give him some height down low. You know, make try to work something for him just to get an easy lay hook. Huh? Yep. And you gotta think they're telling the players here, hey, we don't have any more timeouts, don't count on it. Yep. You're gonna have to force it. You don't wanna pull Chris Weber back in the day where he calls a timeout. Hey, they don't have a He don't talk about that anymore. <laughs> Fab five. Don't Excellent that. 30 for 30. Oh yeah. Talking about Dirk Nowinski, it's also, uh, I guarantee our kids don't know who Chris Weber is anymore. Mm -hmm. Jawan Howard and Jalen Rose also on that team. These kids today still think that Steph Curry should be considered one of the best he is. player ever. No, get away from me. <laughs> All right, enough of that. There we go, big time possession. 20 seconds to go. Tigers down one. Tigers got a couple good options right here. Guys that are putting some points. Gotta do that. And there it is, Camarillo runs that one down. Get the wicks at the top. Ten, Ten seconds. seconds. Scott drives. And it's going to be out of bounds. They'll have seven seconds to go. Nothing hurt by that. Nope, he still nope. got plenty of time. A good defensive play there by Carter Columbia. But All comes down to this. Seven seconds. That's the kind of inbounds play we got thrown out. Licks flashes, they'll have to throw it deep to Morrell. They're gonna have to go here. He's gonna drive. Gonna have to force a turnover here with two seconds and get a heave. Yeah. to turn over and, and then launch one at the rim here. All Ada has to do here is get the inbound and secure it. Yeah, and the Tigers don't have any fouls this quarter, so nope. you're not really, you don't have the opportunity to send the line at all. You just got to make sure nobody catches. Get the ball in and yeah, you don't know much time to handle now. Well, I guess you get another chance to uh, force a quick turnover and get a heave at the basket, possibly off the. You're gonna have to get a clean interception here. You know, if I made to here, my thought may be just throw it as deep as you can into the front court. Yeah, if it goes out of bounds, they at least get it way down there. So. Good basketball game, though. Know? I mean, both teams have played very hard. Mm -hmm. The physical defense battle for most of it. Tigers go on a little run there in the second half, just not able to get over the hump right there. Right. Fun game to watch. Hey, 
heck of a song we got right now. Great song. Pretty good. Uh, ACDC. And here we go. It's going to have to be a, a tip or a heave quickly. Point three, it's gonna have to be deflected in. And that'll do it. Hard fought battle by your four kids and tigers. And they end up losing this one by one at the number eight, eight of Cougars. And that'll be it from the Harrison Fieldhouse. Until next time, I'm Coach Tolbert, Coach Ryan Long.